Hey, it's John Siskovich. I'm in my brooder and I got a new batch of baby chicks in. So I'm going to introduce them to some feed and water and show you what my process is. So I just got 240 chicks in the mail. Uh, they come overnight and baby chicken can survive 72 hours on the fluid that's in its stomach after it hatches out of the egg. And you can see I have my brooder set up. I have a very small area. And then after a couple days, when they get bigger, I take this board out right here and make it a larger area. So the baby chicks come like that. I don't know what that noise was. But there's your baby chick. When I pick them up, I put my middle finger between their legs there. That way I can hold their head with my thumb and dip their face in the water. So then I'll dip their face in, let them get a drink. I have all this set up, the heat lamps are on, the food is out, I have a board down here so no shavings gets into the water. And I have a little bit of feed scattered on that board so they start to eat. And then I have feeders all around their area so everything is easily accessible, the whole process goes really quick. So I'm going to stop talking, I'll put it on time lapse, and I'm going to unpack all these chicks and get them with some feed water and heat on this kind of rainy day. So they're all in, they're good, they're happy, uh, they've all had food and water. I'm going to check on them several times during the day. I'm going to add in a third light just because it's kind of a colder, dreary day. It was 80 degrees yesterday, it's 50 degrees today, uh, so you never know what the temperature is going to bring when you set up the rooter. Uh, always be prepared, have more stuff than you actually need just in case. Uh, there's fresh shavings, everybody's good, everybody's happy, and that is how you receive 233 chickens. Have a good day, and until next time, I'll see you out in the field.